Hello friends, you are most likely viewing this little video either on uh, almost Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve or Christmas or later. So let me just take an opportunity on behalf of the Ortlands, on behalf of the pastoral team here at the church, on behalf of your elders and deacons, the whole staff team here, uh, or on behalf of the whole church, if you're not yet a member of Naperville Presbyterian Church, to wish you a very Merry Christmas. You know, we don't attach that word Merry to any other holiday. We don't say Merry Easter, uh, but we do to Christmas. And though I don't know all the historical reasons why, uh, I do know from looking the word up in my dictionary that the word Merry means lively or cheerful. Now, I know as soon as I say that, some of us are thinking, lively, cheerful. <laughs> are there two words that could uh, more not describe 2020 or maybe how you're doing in your life right now circumstantially? And I understand that. But, you know, the, the, the Christian life from one angle is simply learning to bring our inner life in accord with what we know is actually true. In other words, to bring what's happening uh, internally, emotionally, psychologically inside of us, to, to bring that in line with the truth of the gospel and the Bible and what we most, what we believe for eternity, instead of, instead of letting the circumstances all around us dictate how we are doing uh, internally. And so as Christians, we sing through the storm. As one artist puts it, we dance in the minefield. Uh, we have a certain defiance to our, uh, uh, to our rejoicing. And uh, why can we do that? Well, there are lots of reasons, but right now, in this season, what we're saying is we can, we can sing through this storm that we are in because when all of humanity was headed towards a, a, an eternity of judgment and of condemnation, like a, a, a like thousands of rafts tied together with humanity on it going towards the Niagara Falls. God rescued any who desire it, uh, not by sending um, superheroes, not by sending the Coast Guard, not even by sending the hosts of heaven, the armies, of da as Davy recently reminded us, of heaven. Um, he did it. He rescued us by sending a little baby boy. Because the only thing that could rescue us from condemnation was someone who was the God-man, someone who was, uh, the angels couldn't do it, a mere human couldn't do it, because this coming one had to die in our place, but satisfy God's, um, God's full justice and bear an, an eternal weight of judgment. And only the divine son could do that. So we are um, rejoicing in God sending that little baby boy. We're going to rejoice in that with uh, cheerful liveliness uh, tomorrow. Uh, if you're viewing this on the 23rd at Christmas Eve, we will have our Christmas Eve services 3.30, uh, 5.15, and 7 o'clock. Sign up online if you haven't yet. Haven't yet. Uh, that's always a really wonderful, enjoyable time, a bit more reflective mood than a typical Sunday service. Um, and then I am delighted to have my friend and very dear brother Wade Urig from Iowa City to preach for us this Sunday, the 27th on Colossians 3. Please do sign up online, um, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. Uh, sign ups are available at the church website, mpchurch.org. Our last Sunday at those times before going to 8.30 and 10.30 a.m. the following Sunday, January 3rd. So friends, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. God is teaching us. He's teaching me right now more than ever. <laughs> He's teaching us um, how to right now unlearn uh, rejoicing in our circumstances while rejoicing in Christ remains more distant and instead to flip that around and to rejoice in Christ because circumstances are adverse, to rejoice in Christ and hold uh, circumstances at bay rather than letting them dictate how we are doing internally. So let's rejoice in the Lord Jesus. Let's do that together. Was there anything ever more wondrous across all the centuries and millennia of human history than God becoming a little baby boy ever? This, this is beyond, is it, it's beyond reckoning. It's beyond calculating. It's unspeakably wonderful. So let's just receive it and glory in it. 
this week. And may you do that as individuals and as families as well. So we say hail the son of righteousness, hail the heaven-born prince of peace, light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings, mild he lays his glory by. Born that man no more may die. Born to raise the sons of earth. Born to give them second birth. Hark, the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king.